Have you ever wondered what a psychopath might say in a romantic relationship? Well, it's not always what you might expect. Psychopathic individuals are masters of manipulation, able to wield words like weapons and use emotions as tools in their twisted games. Much like narcissists, they lack empathy, but psychopaths take it a step further. They lack remorse, they lack a conscience, and they're not afraid of the consequences of their actions. In fact, they revel in the chaos they create, finding thrill and satisfaction in deceiving others, exploiting them for their own gain, and setting them up for downfall. They're not just your run-of-the-mill bad guys, they're the primary, less anxious type of psychopath, with a diminished sense of fear and a sadistic urge to inflict pain on others. In the realm of romantic relationships, these individuals are particularly dangerous. They have an uncanny ability to make you feel as though you're the center of their universe, only to reveal their true colors when you're already too invested. They'll make grand promises, shower you with affection, and then, when you least expect it, they'll turn the tables, leaving you questioning your sanity and worth. Now it's important to remember that not everyone who uses certain phrases is a psychopath. It's not about the words themselves, but the context in which they're used and the intent behind them. And that's what we're here to uncover today. We're going to explore five phrases you might hear from a psychopath in a romantic relationship, but we're not just going to take them at face value. We're going to dig deeper, to decipher what they really mean when these words come from such a destructive individual. So buckle up. This is not your typical love story. It's a journey into the mind of a charming psychopath, a journey that will hopefully arm you with the knowledge to spot the red flags and protect yourself from their manipulative tactics. Let's delve into some phrases you might hear from a psychopath in a romantic relationship and what they really mean. You're my soulmate. This phrase, when spoken by a psychopath, carries a chilling translation. It's less about a deep spiritual connection and more about exploitation. When they say, you're my soulmate, what they're really saying is, you're my meal ticket. I need a place to live, funds to leech off of, an image to maintain, or a consistent fix of sex and ego strokes. This phrase is a tool to manipulate and exploit, a ticket to a double life where they may cheat, have other families, or gamble away your savings. And the worst part? you won't find out until it's too late. By then, they'll be chasing the next best thing. So when you hear, you're my soulmate, remember, it's not about the phrase, but the context it's in. Opening, I am crazy about you, I can't stop thinking about you. This phrase might sound like the epitome of romance, but when it comes from a psychopath, it's a calculated move. It's a seductive charm offensive designed to make you feel special, to make you feel like you're the only one they care about. It's all about reeling you in with flattery, praise, and constant attention. But here's the catch. Once you're fully invested, the game changes. Suddenly, they start to poke at you just for fun and act innocent when called out. Maybe it's an insulting comment, a prolonged silent treatment, or making you feel insecure by bringing up other lovers. You see, love isn't enough of a thrill for a psychopath. They crave stimulation, and your emotional reactions to their manipulations provide just that. It's part of the game, a game where the psychopath always wins. I love you, you're the best. Sweet words that would melt any heart, right? But when uttered by a psychopath, they take on a sinister twist. Instead of a genuine expression of affection, it's more of a transactional statement. It's their way of saying, you're a shiny object that's providing immense value for me at the moment. Perhaps you're the attractive arm candy they can flaunt to boost their own value in the eyes of potential conquests. Or maybe you're the financial resource they need to fund their latest venture. For some, you might be the spouse who maintains their image of normalcy, a convenient cover that shields their true nature from the world. But remember, this love is not deep or lasting. It's dependent on the value you're currently providing. And here's the harsh truth. Once your perceived value runs out, be prepared to be devalued. Opening. You're being crazy, insane, and paranoid. When a psychopath utters these words, they're not expressing concern for your mental health. Instead, they're employing a classic manipulation technique known as gaslighting. This tactic is a way to deflect attention from their own deceitful behavior by making you question your sanity. 
What they're really saying is, I didn't expect you to catch on so quickly to what I've been doing behind your back. You're interfering with my plans and it infuriates me. Or perhaps, you're expecting the commitment and the grand future I always promised you. How annoying for you to expect the very things I dangled like a carrot in front of you only so you could meet my needs first. This psychological manipulation is designed to make you doubt your perceptions and memory, giving the psychopath more control over the relationship. Closing. Remember, this is a tactic to make you question your reality. Opening. I would never lie to you. This phrase is often the crowning glory of a psychopath's arsenal of deceit. When a psychopath utters these words, what they really mean is, I relish in the thrill of lying directly to your face and watching you believe every word. They use this lie as a shield, a protective barrier that they hope will deflect suspicion and maintain their control over you. It's a masterful manipulation tactic, one designed to make you question your own instincts and place your trust entirely in them. But here's the chilling truth. A psychopath doesn't just lie, they weave an intricate web of deception that's incredibly hard to untangle. Each lie is a thread, carefully placed to keep their partner tangled in their manipulations. And the most alarming part? Even when confronted with undeniable evidence of their deceit, a psychopath will continue to deny, maintaining their lies with a steadfast resilience that's almost admirable in its audacity. Ending. Even when caught, a psychopath will deny the undeniable. So, we've uncovered some of the most common phrases a psychopath might use in a romantic relationship and their hidden meanings. Psychopathic individuals, often charming and seemingly perfect, can manipulate you with phrases like, you're my soulmate, or I am crazy about you. But these are often veiled attempts to exploit you for their own gain or amusement. They may also use, I love you, you're the best, to keep you around until your perceived value runs out. They turn the tables with, you're being crazy, insane, and paranoid when you start catching on to their games. And lastly, I would never lie to you is typically a testament to their enjoyment of deceit. Remember, it's not about the phrases, but rather the context they're in. Be aware, be informed, and stay safe in your relationships.